Black Hello my lovelies, it's Helen here. Welcome back to my channel and to today's tutorial. I'll be showing you how I created this cute little hand painted set. So stick around if you want to see how I created it. To sculpt my stiletto nails, I'll be needing some clear acrylic, pink divas, cover pink powder, and this white acrylic mix which I created myself and there's a little bit of glitter in that as well. This is Cooper's Nail Dehydrator so I'm going to apply some of it on all my nails and then I'll move on to forming up my nails. I don't usually use dehydrator on my nails but I ended up coming across this Cooper's Nail Dehydrator so I thought I'd put it on, make some use out of it. After all they were very generous to send it to us for NTNA so I just had it sitting in my drawer and I thought I'd use it today. So I'm just attempting to place the nail form under my nail and attempt to get it nice and straight so it's aligned with my finger and not veering off left or right and for today I'm going to be showing you how I do one nail because they're all the same in this set and uh, just before I apply my acrylic I apply the acid free primer from Cooper and I can move on to start applying the acrylic With a bead of the white glittery acrylic I place it on the nail form and I make sure the back part of the bead comes into contact with the natural nail. Then I pat it down the nail form making sure they're the same length and trying to get the acrylic to form a stiletto shape. From what you can see I've left this video in real time so you can see how long it takes me to actually sculpt a stiletto nail and it's not a quick process by any means so do take your time and be patient with the process because it's this stage where you need to be the most fussy when it comes to sculpting nails. The, the more perfect you actually achieve your shape now at this stage, the better off you will be later when it comes to finish filing. So naturally I'm just taking my time and trying to perfect that free edge and as you can see the acrylic is taking some time to dry and basically I like to work the acrylic up until I feel there is no more give in it as I'm patting it with my brush uh, so that way I feel safe and confident to move on to the next step or the next bead which I'm picking up right at this moment and placing it at the stress area of the nail and then I can pat it from side to side and when we come close to the side wall without touching it I can brush that bead over the free edge which I've just created. Then to finish up with this nail I need one more bead at the cuticle area so I pick up a small bead and notice how far away from the cuticle I actually place the bead. So it's not too close because then that gives me the opportunity to push it right up as close as I can without actually flooding the cuticle area with acrylic. My finger is angled downwards so gravity pulls the bead down towards the free edge and not back towards the cuticle thus avoiding extra flooding in that area and if by chance the acrylic does touch the skin then use the tip of your brush to remove it and then continue with forming the nail with acrylic. So since all these nails are basically going to be the same I'm only showing you the pinky and this is the completed look just before filing and to finish file I'm using a, a handheld file to shape the free edge and it's my Ugly Ducklings medium grit file and from this angle you can actually see that I'm filing underneath the free edge and then I roll the file up to the side walls so basically when you're doing nails it's a 360 um, degree ordeal you got to always make sure that you're watching the nail from all angles to make sure you get a perfect nail shape to finish the shaping of the nail I'm using my e-file and sanding band and I'm just zooming over the surface of the nail making sure it's all nice and even and ready for my nail art. And here are my finished filed nails. They look pretty nice like that don't they? 
but I wanted to add some nail art to it so I'm using Ugly Ducklings color number 121 and this is a gorgeous mint color light mint color this color here is number 124 and this is a gorgeous magenta pinky color and I'm also going to use a third color double zero four and this is like a lemon yellow I'm going to be using my liner brush from Get Buff. This is the Brienne. And to be honest, this whole set was inspired by Sarah from Get Buff. So on my pointer finger, I'm actually starting with the magenta color. And I am basically drawing circles, swirls. Let's call it a swirl. It's a swirl in the upper left hand corner of my nail close to the cuticle. And I flash cure that and then I move on to the next color which is that minty color and again I do a swirl on the tip part of the nail cure that and then I add a yellow swirl in between the two swirls and I make sure the yellow doesn't overlap the pink and the minty color and it's sort of like just sitting in between them I absolutely loved this color palette for this design. I just feel these colors work so well together. So once I have cured the swirls for a full minute in my LED light, I add a very generous no wipe top coat on the nail, curing that and adding a second no wipe top coat to it. And then I can move on to the ring finger where I am outlining the unicorn or my little pony with some white gel paint. Once I've outlined it with my liner brush, I then use my angled brush to fill in the shape which I've drawn. And when I'm happy with the shape, I will then cure it and add a second coat. And then I can start adding detail to this little My Little Pony. I'm using Ugly Ducklings color number 155 for the hair. And I laid down the basic mapping for the unicorn's hair and I'm going to outline the fringe here with a little bit of a, a swirl in the fringe to match with the general theme of swirls of this design. But before I cure the purple part of the hair, I actually blend in both the green, the magenta and the yellow into the wet gel polish which is already there. I, I wanted to make it like a rainbow mane for this little unicorn and I did that before I cured it. Then after curing it I'm outlining all the hair and the features of the unicorn. I keep saying unicorn but it's a My Little Pony. So with each section that I complete and I'm happy with I flash cure so I don't make the mistake of accidentally smudging it with my hand because it did happen a couple of times when I get just too into my drawing and I forget to flash cure. So keep in mind to flash cure every so often to preserve your little design. And for the thumbnail I wanted to add a cloud with a rainbow. So I've used white gel polish to paint clouds and then with the same colours which I used for my swirls and unicorn I'm adding a rainbow. This too requires a lot of flash curing in between the colours and once I've got down the basic design I then go back in with black gel polish and outline the entire design and this actually helps it stand out and gives it like a cartoonish appearance which I really do like. I think it's rather adorable. Naturally to finish off this design I am going to add some Zorowski. I've got some neon coloured ones to match this colourful design. I am using some jewellery gel to press in these crystals to make sure they're secure and then a no wipe top coat over that to make sure there is no tacky layer after it's cured. So I'm choosing different shapes and different colours of Zorowski and pressing them into the jewellery gel curing that and then I'm doing this exactly the same thing to the middle finger adding some colorful crystals to that as well and with that cured I'm going to add a final no wipe top coat on all the nails cure them in for a minute in my LED light and then this set will be ready for reveal and here is the finished design my lovelies what do you think of it be sure to let me know down below in the comments what you thought of this set and if you enjoyed this video hit that like button to let me know and if you haven't already do consider subscribing to my channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any videos i upload in future
So that's it for today's video. I do hope you enjoyed it. But in the meantime, if you would like to watch another video, YouTube recommends this one for you. Well, I recommend this one. Which one will you choose? I will see you all on my next video. Bye.